This mother is sweeping the sidewalk and her son asks if she wants help, so she takes the moment to ask him to hold his sister while she finished. She asks him to be careful when holding her as she is just a baby. Meanwhile, a couple is walking down that street, and the mother is surprised to see that man, questioning what he is doing there. But he ends up asking what she is still doing there, claiming that he already told her to get out of there, because that house is his, and the mother says that this house is also hers, and that she has already made it clear that she has two children, but he doesn't want to hear her justifications, and orders her to vacate the house because he will live there with his fiancée. The woman is appalled to realize that he has the courage to bring another woman into their house, and the man justifies that this is beside the point, and says that they will live in that house, and he simply wants her to leave. The ex-wife asks him how he has the courage to leave his own children on the street. Then he loses his patience and confesses that he is tired of his ex-wife and these children, that they are just getting in the way of his life and he wants to live in peace, so he wants them to leave, to pick up their things and leave the house at once. Then the bride tells him that it's about time, and that they need to remodel the house, because his wife has left it a mess. When the woman gets nervous and tries to rebut her ex-husband's fiancé, he interrupts her on the spot, defending his fiancé without even hesitating, and ordering her to leave with her things at once. But the woman is totally unyielding when she says that she will not leave that house. Then he gets even more mad and says that he is going to throw her things in the middle of the street. His fiancé says that she has noticed that his wife is suffering a lot, and asks her if she has thought about going to a hairdresser to try a new look, because she is very ugly and she says that she even feels sorry for that woman. And the woman says that she has two children and spends the day working, so she won't waste her time going to the beauty salon. Soon after, the man comes back and throws her clothes in the middle of the sidewalk, telling her to take everything and go away. She begs him not to do this to her and her children, who are also his, questioning whether he has the courage to do this. But the man doesn't care and tells her to shut up, claiming that he is still being nice by giving her a bag to put her clothes in. His fiancé is just laughing and debauching that woman. And the woman with no choices starts to put all the clothes in the bag. With the help of her oldest son, while she can't stop crying for all the humiliation she is going through at the hands of her ex-husband. And the man tells her to stop crying, because she is making a scene for the neighbors, so he pulls his wife to let them into the house. He also tells her to get lost soon, because he doesn't want to see her at his door anymore. After they put all the clothes in the bag, the mother calls the son to get out of there, and the son asks where they're going after that, and the mother doesn't know, but promises him that she'll fix it and find a place for them to stay. The son asks his mother if they will sleep on the street, and she answers that they will sleep on the street only that day, and she promises that from the next day on, they will have a place to stay. The son doesn't understand why his own father did this to them. The mother doesn't understand either, but asks her son to forget his father, because now it's just the three of them together. He says he's hungry, and the mother says she'll take care of that too. Then she looks through the garbage cans on the street for something to feed her children, because she has no money to buy food for them. And after she doesn't find anything, she tells her son that she will go to a snack bar to try to get a job or to ask for something so that they can eat. She goes into a diner and begs the attendant to get her a job or a room to sleep with her children, explaining that she has to raise her children and she can't afford anything. But the attendant, totally without empathy, says that there is nothing and tells her to get out of there with those children. But the woman keeps begging, she says that her children are hungry and need to eat, and her husband has thrown her out of the house. The woman is still adamant, saying that she must have done something wrong for her husband to have abandoned her, and tells her to get out of there. So with no choices, the woman leaves. And the son continues to say that he is very hungry and his stomach is hurting a lot, but the mother can't give him anything, so she calls him to leave. A few days later, that same man who kicked his ex-wife out, comes home totally drunk. He tells his fiancée of his arrival, but as he is about to enter, she stops him right there and asks where he thinks he is going. And when he answers that he is entering her house, the woman says that his situation is very unfortunate, 
and she even wonders why she was interested in him at some point in his life, and that she feels sorry for him. He is totally offended by what she says and starts to fight with her. But the woman doesn't lower her head and doesn't regret anything, and she says that he will not enter her house. And the man accuses her of wanting to skim, but says that this house is his and he will enter it. Suddenly another man appears and starts to fight with him. The man is totally surprised by that new presence in the house, and asks who is that man. Then the woman replies that that wonderful man is her boyfriend. And she, thinking that he still doesn't understand, explains that the house no longer belongs to him, because now this house is hers. But the man starts shouting that the house is in his name and that it is his. Then the woman explains that he was drunk and ended up signing some documents, transferring the house to her name, that he was so drunk and disoriented that he didn't even realize what he was signing. He freaks out when he hears this, screaming that he didn't sign anything. He tries to take the paper from her hand, but her boyfriend prevents him from doing anything. So he takes the man to the door and throws him outside the house, ordering him to get out of there. The woman says goodbye without feeling sorry for him, and enters the house with her boyfriend. Totally drunk, that man doesn't even know where he should go after being thrown out. Meanwhile, the mother is still on the street with her children. When a man passes by and drops a lot of money on the ground. The son, noticing this at once, urgently calls out to his mother, and she questions who all that money belongs to. And the son replies that it came from a young man who passed by. He picks up all the money on the street and the mother says that they need to return this money to the owner, but the son tries to argue that this money is enough for them to eat at last. But the mother doesn't think it's right for them to keep the money, and asks the son to show who the owner of the money is, but the son still insists that they keep the money, because it gives them enough to eat. But the mother is totally honest and doesn't want to take someone else's money. So they soon find the young man on his cell phone, and approach him to ask if that wallet is his. The boy answers yes and asks where they found his money, and the mother says that her son found it on the sidewalk. The son interrupts the conversation to tell the mother that they are hungry, and that they need to eat. And the boy ends up questioning if they are hungry, if her children are hungry. So the woman ends up explaining that they are hungry, that they live on the street because her husband kicked her out of the house, and they haven't eaten anything for two days. So the very charitable man tells her that he will help her with the same amount that she gave him back, for being so honest and giving him back the money he dropped, so he will take them to get something to eat. And the son is totally happy with that news, asking them to go soon, because he is starving to death. But the mother interrupts the son, saying that they did it just for a good deed, and they don't want anything in return. But the man keeps insisting that she doesn't have to worry about this, that he will take them to eat, and asks her if she is working, and she answers that she doesn't even have a place to sleep, that she doesn't have a job and has nothing, she says that she stays in the street picking up garbage, that leaves the man stunned, and he doesn't want to accept this kind of thing, so he tells her that he owns a multinational company next door. And he tells her that he's going to take them out to eat, and he's also going to see if he can find her a job in his company. Then the woman is very grateful for the chance she is getting, claiming that her daughter is already crying from hunger, so the little family accompanies the man to finally eat. Some time later, she is married to the same man who helped her, and is very happy that they are finally together. She even tells him that everything is working out for them. And he is even happier to see her prospering, both in her business and personal life, and tells her that he will help her with whatever she needs, and then asks where the children are. And she replies that they are at the daycare center and will be there all day. And her husband takes the opportunity to say that they should go to the company, because they need to take care of some things there. They find a man asking for money, and she is surprised to recognize the man, and her husband asks where she knows him from, and the begging man compliments her, saying she looks very pretty. Then the woman tells him that the man is her ex-husband, and asks what happened to him. The ex-husband ends up telling her that everything was going well with his ex-fiancée, 
but she scammed him with another man's help, and now he is in this situation. And the woman takes the opportunity to say that this was a punishment from God for having thrown her and her children out of the house. Her husband then finds out that it was because of that man that she went to live on the street with her children. The ex-husband apologizes for everything he did, knowing that he was a bad character, but he says that he needs help because drinking has ruined his life and asks if the couple can help him with something because he is very hungry and has not eaten for days. And the husband asks if his wife mind if he helps her ex-husband and she says she doesn't mind. So he gives her ex-husband some money, and the man thanks her for the help, claiming that this money will give him enough to eat for a week, and he thanks her from the bottom of his heart. The woman says that she really hopes that he learns from everything he did to her and her children, that he mistreated them and even kicked them out of the house, that what he is going through is indeed a punishment from God. But she also hopes that he will be able to get out of this situation. Her husband then interrupts, saying that even after everything that has happened, he can't accept the idea of seeing a man living on the street and starving. He thinks that this is the least he can do, because the man can't stay living on the street, so he says that he will help her ex-husband by offering him a job. Then he asks her ex-husband if he would mind being offered a job, if he would find it bad to receive this proposal. And the man immediately accepts. And the woman makes it clear that she won't accept any slip-ups on his part. And the man totally agrees, claiming that he is learning a lot from all the suffering he has been through up to that day, and promises that he will not disappoint. He apologizes and once again and thanks her for the opportunity.